Nation. I'm your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Hey, it's not a week in the two kick community unless people take shots. Unless there's a new update on the game. And also a whole bunch of different shenanigans goes on, man. It's a 2K community. It's always lit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your host, Agent Beamstar. If y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. It takes a second. You'll get notified next time some drama drops. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's midnight and I have way too much energy. Second channel link in the description. Just drop the video rating PewDiePie's meme ratings. I mean, Agent Zero did that, obviously. Hey, link is in the description. Subscribe to that channel, watch that. The channel's already at 100K, shout out to y'all. All right, let's get down to business. For our first story of the day, an OG content creator in the NBA 2K community that goes by name Nick the Bulls fan was wilding on Twitter the other day, and a lot of people had questions, so let's roll the clip. He put out this original tweet saying, oh, it was in response to some that was deleted. Why the hell would I want to do that? Why would I limit myself to being Chris Smooth? My idol, who tried to shit on me because Shake and Bake and I brought in locker codes. Smooth has always been the boomer of the community, holding it back from its true potential. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not every day you take shots at Chris Smooth in the 2K community. Smooth created the community, dummy. You wouldn't even have a platform to do all this dumb stuff on if he didn't exist. Everyone knows iPod has been the real face of the community. Let's praise King Carter. He has been the gatekeeper. He let me in when I met him for the commercial and I'm so grateful for him. He has always stayed true. It's all about the impact. Now I will say this, uh, iPod King Carter did have an iconic series back in like 14, 15 days called Sports Commentator March Madness. And everyone in the sports community, gaming, sports gaming, wanted to be a part of that shit. I guarantee you, I want to be a part of it. Everyone I know wanted to be a part of it. So in a way, he kind of was a gatekeeper. Nick is spitting some facts right here. So someone responded to Nick saying, Smooth made 2K popular on YouTube. What are y'all talking about? That's the most simp statement I ever heard. The viewers made 2K popular on YouTube. Without the community, there is no Chris Smooth. He didn't invent the platform. Stop idolizing this old man who never did good for us. He tried to end me by killing locker codes. I'm getting surprised like I didn't open up these tabs and I don't know what the drama's gonna be. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Toasted, one of the premier designers in the 2K community responded, Nick, you can't be out here disrespecting Chris Smooth. For so many people, including me, he got me into 2K and I would have never been here if it wasn't for seeing his videos back in 2K13. My people at 2K have always showed me love. The community betrayed me back in the day, so I decided to quit and finish my studies. After college, I was inspired by my brother to come back. Now, there's nothing that can stop me. But things didn't stop there. The reason Nick the Bulls fan was so active on Twitter is because he was actually looking to break a record. And that was a record that Los Polos himself broke just a month ago, which was the longest stream in Twitch history. So uh, Nick the Bulls fan did his stream. I didn't watch it. I can't even verify that it happened, but he's saying it happened. And this is what he said next on Twitter. Still waiting for Dixero to acknowledge me breaking the streaming record with 225 hours. I work harder in those almost 10 days than I have in my entire life. Many people close to me thought I was going crazy. That's how entertaining and exhausted I was. And so obviously, you know, he'd been, he'd been wilding. Um, he, he got some responses and some criticism. Nick the Bulls fan, this is what he had to say about the criticism. Any negativity whatsoever equals blocked. Cash at me $5 if you wanna be unblocked after that. Uh, Waffle King doesn't have any room for negativity in his life. I'm trying to make the world happy again. It's a massive goal, but it's my life mission. So that's where that story ends, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, some of you guys who've been around the community for a while probably know who Nick the Bulls fan is, but uh, according to him, he broke a record. He just wanted some recognition for that record, and meanwhile decided to take some shots at probably the only person in the 2K community you probably shouldn't take shots at. <laughs> for our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I can't even be excited this, this drama alert because there's too much bad news going on. Now, you might not be a huge fan of Nadex, he might have rubbed you the wrong way at some point, but we can all acknowledge his grind. Nadex is a grinder, you know what I mean? He been banned off every imaginable platform, goes to a random platform, and still pulling two, 3,000 live viewers. It's unbelievable. Comes back to YouTube, like a couple weeks ago, man was pulling 30,000 live viewers on a wager. That's unbelievable numbers. But it was a whole bunch of bad news because Nadex's YouTube channel got terminated again. And the community most definitely had a reaction. 
Joe Knows tweeted saying, nah, Nade, there's no way, bro, WTF. Feel so bad for Nade. Shake my head, they terminated his channel again. Ain't no way, bro, Nadex. I think Nadex's channel just got terminated. Hashtag free Nade. No one should ever have to go through losing countless hours of grinding. Then Nadex, uh, after a couple hours, um, he got in the loop himself. He decided to post on Twitter saying this. I don't know what's going on. Ain't no way this is happening again. I'm so numb right now. I wanna cry so bad, but tears aren't just coming out. No one knows what I'm going through. Even AMP Duke had something to say. Damn, man, that sucks for real. Try and keep your head up. So Nadex kind of just explained briefly that uh, he's gonna try and contact YouTube and see what the problem is. Because if you remember why Nadex originally got terminated, it's because he filed a copyright claim on a, on a plug channel that was just ripping his streams and uploading them to YouTube. And YouTube deemed that as an abuse of the copyright system, even though it was Nadex's content. And so they terminated Nadex's channel over it. And so once your channel gets terminated, you can't make another channel. That's gonna get terminated too. There's some workarounds for it, for sure. But uh, unfortunately, at his peak, just when he started to really, really get on a roll, Nadex's YouTube channel goes kablam, kabloom, kablop. I don't know Nadex that well. I've only really spoken to him a couple times, but man, he really does go through a lot. Some of it I feel like is inspired by the toxicity he brings on himself, but there's no level of toxicity that I feel like would warrant, like this is his third or fourth channel being terminated. Like who goes through that? So shout out Nadex, man, for continuing to push through that and continuing to release content and continuing to be relevant in the NBA 2K community. That's impressive. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, this is a short one because there's not much to say because 2K hasn't said much about it. There's an update, new patch 1.13 update. We all downloaded that update and none of us actually know what's in it. I don't know, 2K's been getting lazier. Like, you know, two days later they drop patch notes, three days later, with this patch, they didn't even drop the patch notes. They just said, we don't even think patch notes are useful. We're not gonna do it. So I don't know what's up with 2K. I don't know what was introduced in the patch at all. Hey, uh, 2K, it would be nice in future notice could, if you could just notify us what we're downloading onto our consoles. That's all we're asking. It's not hard. You could literally just put like 10 notes of the things you've changed. It could, it could even be vague. Ideally, as specific as possible, but it could even be vague. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ronnie2K and associates have been throwing out logos left and right. You're asking questions. Agent, did Agent Zero himself get a logo? Nope, he did not. I can verify that because I live in the same house as him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Agent Beamstar right here. I'm letting you know right now, I don't care. So when Ronnie posts tweets about a logo, please do not spam my mentions. Cause I swear to God, every time Ronnie does it, my mentions are done for an entire day. If just people saying, agent, 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 he's not giving it to me, guys. But there were a lot of people in the 2K community, like Joe Knows, etc., who were deserving of a logo, who finally got a logo. Uh, so talking about logos, there was some drama. Uh, Chris ZT on Twitter posted this. Never spoke to this person in my life. Funny to see how race is somehow always brought into the subject with this video. Who's this? Oh, it's a lovely Okay, uh, we're gonna have to mute some a lot of that because you know copyrighted music. Uh, but to transcribe, she said, "Who is this?" a weird little white boy. And obviously, doing that on stream, that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because a rational human being could just flip the logic and do the same thing about her. When you run across her on the park, just say she's some weird, and so it's like, you don't want people to say stuff like that about you. Uh, so Chris ZT was feeling some type of way about it. Call the man threw in his hat into the mix online Twitter because he said this. I see so many streamers focus on other streamers. Like, just focus on yourself, grind, and shut the up. LD2K even said, just a friendly reminder, you never know what the next person is going through. Spread love, be kind, be a good person. All I gotta say, imagine if the rules were changed, you'd never hear the end of it. Hey, this is what I wanna say about the whole logo situation. There's actually no value in having a logo no more. Not, there's no, it's not that there's no value, it's just it's been greatly diminished. In 2K19, when someone had a logo, it was like, oh my God. And then you'd be like, oh snap, I know that person. Because like, that's what they were meant for, right? But now there's so many people that have it, it has less value. That being said, you're not gonna shit on anybody for having it. They obviously did something to deserve it. And so it's like, yo, allow them, man. And LD2K has a point, bro. I promise you, a lot of people is going through things, but they keep it tucked. You don't know what 
something you said is gonna do this and that for the other person. You know, I'm, I'm a very trolly kind of guy. I be trolling 24 seven, you know what I mean? So even me, I had to catch myself from time to time. Like, yo, I don't even know if they know I'm playing. But in this situation, it did not look like she was playing whatsoever. It looked like she was being very serious. She was almost disgusted by the fact that she was interested to see who it was and then immediately lost interest when uh, she found out who it was. Anyway, uh, that was the story. It wasn't, it wasn't actually that jam packed. Um, but yeah, they're still handing logos out. So if you're streaming, then I actually don't know how it works. You just kind of have to have Ronnie on your side. For the... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the NBA 2K League, there was some drama and it's actually such a unique bit of drama that no one's ever seen before, right? And so let me walk you through what happened. NBA 2K League games have been streamed on ESPN2. So now they're nationally televised games, ladies and gentlemen. They're on the big stage, right? So you wanna make sure the content is A1. And for the most part, I've been enjoying it. But today, as a damn recording this, there was some shenanigans going on. Jeff posted this on Twitter. Mama on that man dropped 77 points which is an NBA 2K League regulation record for the Blazers 5 gaming, but much of the conversation is about Bucks GG holding the ball in the fourth. And you can see here at the beginning of the fourth quarter, the Andy, Bucks team absolutely, like, no reason is just holding the ball so that he can't that score because they already the lost the game. So you can imagine if someone's watching this for the first time or whatever on ESPN2, they would be livid about the fact that it almost feels like someone's controller died. What's going on? This is not, this is not high quality content. And it's not indicative of what the 2K League generally produces. So a whole bunch of people had a reaction. I am Adam the First, AKA Kid Kuda, one of the legends in the 2K community and an NBA 2K League season one champion posted this on Twitter. So corny for doing that and even more embarrassing that it's on national television. Imagine tuning in as a new viewer for the first time and seeing a team doing what they're doing right now. I'd never watch again. When will league players realize they are the official NBA employees? So Dave Fry, a player in the league, responded on ESPN as well. That's the crazy part. ESPN is feeding for some content. You don't think Mama lands an interview after breaking the record? Directly drawing in more exposure and money for the league? Growing his own brand, which again grows the league? Pathetic and selfish by the Bucks. Boo Painter, is he in the league still? I don't know, he got banned in season two. But he was like leading points per game in season one. He said, most of the players see the money, not the bigger picture, Kuda. CB13, player for I believe the Warriors, yeah. When people still fail to realize league growth over your own. And so basically everybody in the league was kind of just condemning that. Like, yo, you messing it up for everybody else right now. Why are you ruining the product? There should most definitely be some kind of rules in place for that. I'll give you an example. I was watching, I think it was last year's Evo. One of the Super Smash players thought it was a brilliant idea to just not attack each other in one of the games. And the, the officials literally ran up to the stage like, excuse me, both of y'all is about to be disqualified if you don't start fighting in this competition. That's what you're supposed to do. And so in that situation, they tried to do some tomfoolery and Evo wasn't having it. So 2K League, you have to have some kind of rule so that people can't play the game like that or they're disqualified. Plus, yo, if you're being dropped off to that degree, bro, that makes you, you're a little pathetic, my guy. That's a little pathetic. Why don't you D up, considering this is your full-time job? Why don't you just D up? There's been an update, new story, ladies and gentlemen, for the last story of the day. Uh, there's some breaking news, by the way, of Troy Dan, who decided to put out this tweet on Twitter saying this. PlayStation 5 upcoming game list was released in the UK magazine. Interesting. And if you click on it, nowhere on this PS5 list of games do you see NBA 2K21. You do see games like NHL 21 and FIFA 21, but nothing to do with NBA 2K. Now, granted, there is the Rona and there is a new set of consoles and 2K is severely understaffed. We know these things. On top of all of those things, they're coming out with their new PGA 2K golf game. They got their new WWE All-Stars 2K game. I feel like they're split in a lot of different directions and I'm hoping this doesn't mean that there's gonna be some serious delay in what 2K21 is gonna look like on next gen. I guess at this point, it's all up to speculation. We don't know if the game's even gonna release on the PS4 and the Xbox One. I could assume it will because obviously 2K wants to make money, but I just thought it was interesting and it, that might not be an exhausted list. Maybe 2K doesn't know yet if they're gonna be ready for launch, etc. Or maybe they're not gonna come at launch, they're gonna come a couple weeks later, a month later. We don't really know. It is nearing June and we still haven't heard not a 
damn thing about NBA 2K21. So I'm assuming at some point in the next two to three weeks, we at least hear something. And if we don't, then I'm gonna start to say, look, it's looking a little fishy, it's looking a little eerie today, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the news. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Second channel link in the description and the video is right here. I was rating PewDiePie's meme ratings. And you know we're both on the board of authorized, oh, 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 oh. Agent Zero's on the board, so.